Hello there! This is the first episode of Microcosmic. In this series, we will observe together teeny tiny living organisms. And what are we going to observe today? One of the most resilient animals known on Earth, the tardigrades. Tardigrades, also commonly known as water bears or moss piglets, were first described in 1773 by the German scientist Johann Goetze. And since we have identified around 1,300 species of tardigrades, their name Tardigrada was given to them by the Italian scientist Lazzaro Spallanzani in 1777, and it means slow steppers. Those guys are pretty small between 50 and 2,000 micron in length. And even though they have similar size to single-celled organisms, such as bacteria, they have a very complex internal structure. Some tardigrades have up to 40,000 cells. What makes them special is that they are an amazing example of extremophile animals. This means that they can live and thrive in habitats where life would be impossible for most organisms. We are talking mountain top conditions, underwater pressures, and wait for it, space. So you can find them in freshwater, marine, and terrestrial environment. In a terrestrial habitat, they need a thin water film around them to stay in an active state. When water is missing, they enter a so-called cryptobiotic state. This state can happen at different stages, but also multiple times in a tardigrade's lifetime. In this state, they are extremely resilient to unfavorable environmental factors. They can survive extreme temperatures, ranging from minus 272.8 degrees Celsius which is extremely cold, it's very close to the absolute zero, up to 150 degrees. They show incredible resistance to extremely low and high atmospheric pressures, up to 7,500 megapascal. And just to give you an idea of how much that is, right now you're probably feeling 0.1 megapascal. And if by any chance you are watching this video at the deepest point in Earth oceans, you are resisting to 111 megapascal. Tardigrades can survive 65 times that pressure. In their cryptobiotic state, they can resist to high doses of ionizing, ultraviolet radiation and X-rays. So they are very small, they are easy to culture and breed, they have a high resistance to low pressure and temperature and they also resist to high doses of radiations. So why not bring them to space? Since 2007, a number of tardigrade species have been brought to space to be used as model species for space research. The TARDIS project showed that tardigrades can survive exposure to the space vacuum. An experimental group which was exposed not only to the space vacuum but also to solar radiation showed very low survival rate. But some individuals did manage to survive and revive their body. This is how tardigrades became the first and only animals to be able to survive outer space. Now that you know how extremely cool tardigrades are, let's see how you can easily find them in your backyard. For this, you're gonna need a few things. A paper bag, I didn't have one, so I made one with a paper sheet. Then you're gonna need something sharp, like a knife or a razor blade, and a small container to rehydrate your samples. And now you're ready for the adventure. Well, of course if you don't know where to look, you're gonna look down. If it's true that you can find tardigrades almost anywhere, one of your best bets is probably to collect some lichen or moss. Lichen is very common on trees. Fortunately for me, I have some behind my house. 
so I went and collected some with my knife. Respect nature, try not to damage the tree and take only what you need. At home, put a lichen in the small container. We are going to need to rehydrate it. For this, pour a little bit of tap water in the container and then mix gently. Wait for a few hours or overnight. After that, it's time for observation. I'm personally using an old stereo microscope, but anything that has a 50x magnification should be enough to see the tardigrades. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. I really want to thank all my patrons from Patreon, but also all the people who have been buying t-shirts and merchandise on my shop. Your help is very much appreciated and very useful for the channel. So that's it, thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time for another episode of Microcosmic.